This demo is about the value our customers and partners can derive from the new solution management and packaging functionality in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. These features will be especially relevant and useful to IT managers, architects, and developers. By the end of this demo, we hope you'll appreciate how easy it is to package and manage a solution using the upcoming version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So, let's get started. In Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, Solutions is a new category under Customizations. Solutions represents the logical grouping of components that can be versioned and managed. This is also the area where we go to manage a solution's creation and packaging. In this demo, we'll create a solution and then add some components that are new to Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 and available in both the on-premises and online deployment models. These new components, along with solution management capabilities, are a significant enhancement that will benefit enterprise customers and ISVs alike. Let's go ahead and provide the details of the solution. We'll give our solution a name. And look up the name of the publisher for this solution. We may have multiple publishers. Let's go ahead and pick a publisher. Next, we'll select the version of this solution. In our case, we'll mark it as V1. Versioning is a new feature that lets you easily determine what version of the solution is currently deployed. As an ISV, if you're deploying solutions, you can easily check what version the customer is using. And then, we click Save. This saves the solution, so it persists in metadata and lights up the other components which can now be added to the solution. It's important to point out that the solution paradigms established in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 4, for example, metadata-driven and iterative development, have been carried forward and significantly enhanced for other items in addition to entities and workflows. Let's now take a look at components. If you're familiar with CRM 4 customizations, one of the first things you'll notice is that the components list has been significantly enhanced and, in addition to having everything neatly organized, offers some new options. For the purposes of this demo, we'll add a couple of entities to the solution to demonstrate that a solution can be composed of existing as well as new entities. A solution can leverage existing entities from the default solution or a solution that has been installed, and the solution packaging step automatically creates the dependency map. We can add any of the existing Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 entities to our solution. Let's select Account. Scroll down to see Contact. And then select it. As entities are added to the solution, Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 displays a prompt when dependencies are detected. Users can decide whether to include the dependent components in the solution. Using the solution management tools, we can also create new entities right from within the solution, and these entities get added to the solution. So, while developers are building the solution, they don't need to navigate anywhere, but can simply operate in the solutions area for all their development needs. In Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, we've added web resources, making it possible to add files such as JScript libraries, HTML pages, cascading style sheets, and Silverlight components to your solution. This way you can keep all the components of your solution together and have these components versioned as well. Here we enter a name for the web resource. a display name, and a description. Now, let's choose the type. We'll choose JScript libraries from the drop-down list. This adds the JScript libraries to the solution so they can be referenced globally. Developers can write JScript code libraries once and then make them available for reference across the application. The JScript code embedded in objects can be extremely lightweight, so forms load faster.
Select English. Choose Browse to find the file that needs to be added. Select datacontext.js. We save and close the new web resource. Now let's similarly add a Silverlight user experience or UX component to the solution. Input a name and display name for the web resource. Enter a description. Silverlight components allow us to embed many types of rich UX and computational functions to be executed on the front end. Developers can very easily create Silverlight components by using the Microsoft.NET framework and then bring them over to Microsoft Dynamics CRM to illustrate data visually, collect complex information, and display instant computations. Silverlight components can also call out to other web services from the front end UI. Specify the language. Select English. Select the silverux.zap file. Save and close the new web resource. Now we'll take a look at another feature that we've added to the solution management toolset, the dependency map. As you can see, the solution clearly lists the dependencies that it has on the system. This allows the developer to definitively identify the components on which the solution is dependent and that are required for it to function. Dependency mapping also helps the developer to add all the required components to the solution. Finally, we publish the solution. As we've just seen, the solution management and packaging functionality in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 has been significantly enhanced. We're really excited to bring this to market as it eases the tasks customers and ISVs face when managing solutions for internal or commercial use. Thanks for watching.